Let's look at Share LaTeX a little more closely. So this is our projects page. There's several things we can click on up here and in particular there's this info and there's a help guide resources change log about us and we're going to look at the help guide but to do that I want to show you where it actually is you can do www.sharelatech.com and learn and this is a page that gives you information on getting started, commands, changing fonts, so it's not as comprehensive as the LaTeX Wiki, however it is more up to date and it is specific to Share LaTeX, so everything you see here you're guaranteed to be able to do in Share LaTeX. For instance one of the things you'll have to do this week is you'll have to look at uh, graphing. So figures and tables, it has how to insert images, but we're actually going to be doing a graph and you can do that actually by drawing it directly in LaTeX. Here's the information on how to do that. It's using what's called the TIX package and you'll put this in the preamble toward the top and then it shows you the different things you can draw and in particular you can actually draw quite a number of different things. One of the things that you can draw is you can actually do plots using ticks. So we're going to look at the plots and it was down toward the bottom. So if you go toward the bottom of that table, it's down there toward the bottom. And we're going to look at plots. And let's just do a two-dimensional plot and you see here's how we do it. We have to put the uh, use package at the top, PGF plots, and the setup command. And then we have these kind of commands. And so we'll actually do something similar to this example. Before we do that, however, notice that we have these square brackets. Anything in square brackets is optional. So we don't have to put those things in at all same thing here we don't have to put this information about adding the plot we only have to put what we actually want to plot and notice that we have to put a uh, semicolon so this is new uh, in the ticks picture environment where the semicolon is required if you don't put it in there then you'll see that you'll get an error so let's try it out and let's click on new project Let's just do a blank project. Let's just give it a name, say example. And it's going to generate a pretty much empty file. Everything before the begin document is called the preamble. So all of this up here is the preamble. So in the preamble, we need to insert our packages, our PGF plots package along with that uh, PGF plot setup. And that was of course in our ShareLaTeX Learn web page. Now you can do exactly what they have there. What I want to do is I just want to do a single simple example. So let's go down here and I'm just going to create some space so you can see without the clutter. We're going to make a plot. and. Uh, so we're going to put in begin the ticks picture and end ticks picture. So I think it's a good idea to include both of those. Uh, and we're going to put in an axis. An axis is a coordinate system that we draw on. So begin axis and end axis and then we're going to add a plot and so I'm just going to add a single function notice we have to have the semicolon and so we have this add plot and then there we have our function don't forget the semicolon and let's recompile and this works in share LaTeX it also works in any uh, LaTeX installation Oops, wrong one 
So let's. And this is just the default plot. Uh, if we use the options that you see here, then we can get this nice output. But notice that we do that by adding the plot, and we have different options in these square bracket optional fields.